Hello everyone. In this section, we are going to have a, to establish a connection between client and server. Means we are going to create a client and as well as server. How they connect each other? Suppose now you know we know the basics of circuit programming. There is the concept of marshalling and demarshalling. Everything you know that. Let's create a client. For client, we are for any type of for any circuit programming, we need a circuit first. So import socket. After importing socket, we have to create a socket. For creating socket, there must be a type socket function. In this circuit function. We have to pass two arguments. So means it it has by default two arguments. First purpose argument is the IP family, and the second is the byte stream. Okay. Now circuit is created again. We are going. I am going to use try catch means exception handling. It is the best way to work. Right. Socket created enough. Then accept and socket not. Okay. Now, the software is created. Again, we need a host. Host in this case, at that time, we need a host at run time. Means dynamic host. For dynamic host, we use the method get host by name. But in this case, we have to enter the host name manually. Okay. So to enter the host name manually, we have to If we miss it. This means we are going to use the method. We are going to use inter means host name as a string, so we can type pass the input of host address into the string. Like right? let me show you. Host is equal to input runtime. We need a server name, and so we need a server name as a string. To show as an for to convert it to string, we need a we need to type pass it into a string. This is the method of type passing. Just write the str before before anything. You can convert that input as into the string. Now what we need? Enter a of Host. Okay. Is it okay? We need host. We have host. And again, we already, already what I already last last lecture I told you that we need three basic things in circuit programming. Three basic of primary things in circuit programming. In the client side, we need socket. We need host, and the third one is port. Now we are going to create a port. Port. I said whatever you want. Just create it of this of your own choice. I just printed one to the file. Then s. Now we have to connect. Now client is created. We have to create connect. With the host, connect with host by using the given port. Okay. Now here you see the two curly brackets, host and port. It is packed inside one curly bracket, and again also there is a another curly bracket. Why? Because here in this socket there are two arguments, and they return two values. But in this method, connect method, it accept only one argument. 
so we packed these two arguments into the one argument by using the open and closing c brackets understand it's a c brackets why we pack it because here in this method method it accept the two arguments by by default it's it have two arguments ip 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 family argument and the by destination argument and this connect method uh, accept only one argument so we pack these two arguments into the one argument by using these two c brackets understand now our client is ready to connect again and again we use try catch for this try print access fully connected okay understand this is the client program now we are going to save it control f5 control s c l i e n which is a client program save it client is unexpected and the file i forget something to accept i did not use the method accept for that that's why it shows accept accept again send the message to the end user server not responded or yeah is down technical Enter the name of his host. We can be at present. We did not create the host. Means we we don't have server. We are doing. We doesn't create the server, so we don't have host name. So I'm going to type something else. Server not as one, but there is some technical issue. Means we are we did not create server yet. So now we are going to create the server. Okay, create the server. Open the new file. Write down the server program. In server program, we need the some things computes same as earlier program. Let me close it. We need something. Okay, this is the common 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 thing. So I copied it. I think uh, I hope there is no problem for you people. Otherwise, I will write it. But remember, the port address must be same. Okay, port is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Again, we need host name. The host is equal to socket dot get host name because we are working on local host. It shows the local host name socket dot get host name. It will return the name of host. Now we have to print the name of host. Print host 
Now we have the host. Again, after that we have to bind that host. Means client send the request by using some port, but uh, server have to bind some bind at that port to respond to the client because the because server has many clients. Clients can com commute on with only one server, but server can respond uh, at a time with number of clients. So it it so it needs to bind at a particular port for a particular client. So for this for this purpose, we have to create bind method s dot bind. Okay, we are going to bind that. What is what are we are bind? We are binding it with host with the port. Any problem? Again, here we use two curly brackets. So sorry, two C brackets. Opening closing. Same thing. It returns two arguments. So and it accepts only one argument. So we pack these two arguments into the C brackets and make it as a single argument. Okay. Now we have the local host. Well, now you have mentioned it is a local host, so no need to be confused. Yeah, we will bind socket is socket bind to port successfully. If you want to write a message, just write it. Right. Socket. Bind to port success. Fully. If you want to use again here try and catch, then there is you can use it by using try Accept binding error. Okay. This is our access method. Now, now server is binding to the particular port. Now, now at that time after binding server is waiting for waiting for the client request means server is is, is for that waiting for, for, for waiting process we call it as listening server is listening server is ready to listen the client so s dot l i s t e n listen server wants to listen the client how many clients one two three four whatever you want just print it i don't need here after that What is this doing? Just write down. Socket is ready to listen for client. Effect. Client always do the request and server always do the response. Now. This method returns two arguments. So we have to receive these two arguments into the two variables. So we have to receive two arguments, two variables. First, let me consider that is found, and another is addr. This is the beauty of Python. We can assign multiple values in a single line statement. If you want to assign three values to three variables, just write down variable one, comma variable two, comma variable three equal to value one, comma value two, comma value three. This is the beauty of Python. It means multiple value assignment at a time or, uh, or in a single line statement to the multiple variables. Okay. Now client is ready to accept. Yes. Sorry, server is ready to accept the client request. Print 
Yet again, we will use by catch dot connection from, from which a d d r a d d r represent the address of the client. If suppose client want to send any message, my client want to send any message to server received or send that message by using the help of Con argument. Okay, understand? Con variable. I will show you. Let me run this program or not. This is server. Okay, server is ready to listen for client. Circuit binding, circuit path busting is circuit is created. Local list is also name of the local host is also created. Let me copy it from here. Control C circuit bind to port successfully means circuit is binded to the port. Now circuit is ready to listen for client. Now it's time for client to run and send request to server. Run the client. It is running on the same shell. So I'm going to open new shell. Cancel it. Again, going to open new shell. Otherwise, it will not run. Just close it. Yes. Close it. Any one of file client or file to our server, open it here. I'm going to open client in this cell and now going to run. First, I will run the server. Server is run. This is the name of the host. Copy it. Then I will go to run client. Client is also run on different shell that was different. Otherwise, on the local host, we need two different shells. Now I am going to insert the name of server or the local host name. After can local host name inserting server not respond or there is some technical issue. Let me check what else this what is the technical issue why server is not responding. Server is running successfully. Close all. Run the server. Server is running. Copy this. Yeah, now wait. Now run the client. Client needs to know. Server does not respond it or there is some technical issue. Why? Host import. Everything is right. I think there is a mistake. Okay. We use dot instead of comma. That's why server not responded. Okay. Now it will run fine. Close it all again.
Again, the server. Now server is running. Copy the name of server. Control C. Now run the client. Put the name of server here. Now the message is successfully connected to server. Let me check what happened to server side. Server side, where is server side? Yes. Server can print the message dot connection from this host and the port is this. Dot connection from the client IP is this and the port number is this. Is it okay? This is the way of connecting a client with the server. At client side, we need three things. First thing is socket. Second thing is port number. Third is host name. At server side, we need first thing is socket. Second is, oh, second is port. And the third is the local host name. And the fourth one is to bind the server. And the fifth is listening to the socket. Okay. And the last one is to accept the request from the client. This is the client server connection. Now, <coughs> now, we, I, now I will create chat server like chat server like application means the continuously send messages from client to server, server to clients. How? Let me see. Let me show you. Let's give my time for today is very fast. Okay. I'm not going to write again the program, same program. We just need, need four line of more course to write at the end of this program. Okay, after that. Just simple, we use while loop for um, while loop for unlimited chat while loop oh there it must be a space okay no client will receive the server message so for incoming message we, we, we write this as in message for in message client receive it by using the socket reference as dot recp and in this rec method we pass the maximum limit of byte stream to receive or inside the merchant 1024 understand means if the server sends some message to the client then the client receive that message Message by using the receive message RECV is -E RECV and 1024 is the maximum limit of byte stream. Means if you are going to send a message, it will send the limit. After that, limit suppose you are going to if you cross the limit, your message will automatically detect or cut. Cut only the limited message can be transferred over the network. Okay. After message received, what we need? Here I am. Yes. Yes, sir. After message receiving, we have suppose server is sending the message in some encoding form. So it's our responsibility to decode that message. So decode that message in message is what there is there is a method named decode. Sorry, to go to what receive message is going to be decode. Coming message is going to be decode by using decode method. If you want to check if it is decoding or not decoding, encoding and decoding, then remove the method. This line then just remove this line. Okay. Now message is received and decoded. Now we can print a message. Print to 
send a message server send a message write down server again i use dot operator okay this is the logical programming there is nothing there is no concept of there is no need to use any specific software programming concept here we receive the message from the server and server send the message in, in, in encoded form means encrypted form we we can uh, we, it is our responsibility to to receive the message from the server and uh, and to decode it by using the decode method after that decoding message we are going to print that message this was just a simple simple one we receive message we decode message and we print message there is no any hard technical concept behind this after that now i'm going to send a message now client is going to send a message to whom to server message is equal to message dot encode sorry we are going to send a message but what type of message are going just is from the command from from the shell we will send a message in english form in a string form okay who is going to send a message the client is going to send a message in the string form so write down cli client column Client will send a message. After that, message will be encoded. Like server server sends send, send encoded message to the client, then client will also send message in encryption format or in encoded format. So for this purpose, we use message dot encode. Okay, there are many algos like RSA or something like whatever. There are methods available. So you have to, for this purpose, you have to you have to learn, learn cryptography, and after after learning cryptography, you can implement via networking concepts. Okay. Now send a message as dot s e n d send send out. There is no any hard code. Simple. Client is receiving response from the server. So for that, so for that incoming message, I will use as IN message. IN message means incoming message from the server. So as dot receive receive this is with this method receive the message from the server up to the limit of one zero two four. Then the server if, if server message is is in the form of some encoded or some encryption encoded, we can decode or decrypt that message by using the decode method. After decoding that message, we can print it. If we can print it, now the server server response is printed on the client side. Now it's uh, now now client is sent again new request. For new request, client simply simply write the message, and uh, we have to convert that message into the string format or type out the message into the string. For that purpose, we use str. After the, after creating the message. It's uh, uh, client is over over the network. So suppose this is important of private message. So it's responsibility. It's a responsibility responsibility of client to encode that message in, by using the encode method and by using send method. Can simply send the message method. Now client side is okay. Same thing. Client first receiving the message. It means server side server will first send the message. Understand? Here client. Is first receiving the message. Understand? Understand this message? So this concept. Here, client is first receiving the message. It means server is first sending the message. Here and last, client is sending the message. It means server will receive the message at last. The same code will 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 write on the at the server side, but Sending option it will then be done at first, and the receiving option can be done at last at server side. How? Let me show you. Save this file.
written by while true you can pass the function true true is used for true for infinite if you infinite means if you if you are going to use some some means some loop for for some iteration 10 Ten times and so you can only send ten messages, or you want to learn loop for five times. So you know, so you can run only five five. You can send five requests and five responses. So for unlimited match chat, unlimited chat, you can use while method as far back as that. Okay. Now what I said, client is receiving message. It means server is sending message. Client is receiving message at first, then server is sending message at first. So for that, I said equal to input and convert that message into a string. Server is who sending message? Server is sending method message. Write down S E R V -E R server. Okay, now it's our responsibility to encode that message by using some cryptography, cryptographic methods. Here we use the method encode. Message is encoded. Now we can send it by using con dot send. If we are, if we are suppose if there is multiple clients. If there are more than one clients, then we use, then server use the method send all con dot send all. But here single client we use only send. Okay, on equal to send message. Now sending a message is done. On our now we are working. Now we are going to. Work on incoming message. So for the incoming message, in message is equal to count dot r e c v. Same as client side. What is the limit? Any one zero two four. Same as this is what we work on client side. In messages, this is sorry, I did not use the dot operator to show the runtime error. Again, message is received. Now we can decode that message because client already encoded. So we have to decode that message in message dot decode. Okay, now print the message. Now what we are printing? We are printing the message of client. So write down here. Client. Okay, so what is ready? Save it program. Any doubt? I think there is no doubt because these two concepts are very easy. Run the program. Socket is ready to listen for client. Copy this code. Server name here. Now I'm going to run the client. Where is client? Here is client. Enter the name of host. It is connected. Who is it for sending the message? Here, yeah, client is for receiving the message. So, for who is for sending the message? Server is for sending the message. Just wait. Mouse is. My mouse is very quick working. Okay. Now, send hi. Client, yes, it is printed. 
some encoding and decoding method is uh, there is some problem with encoding and decoding message now let me check from here yes it is printed hello at client side encoded and decoding method working very well let me check There is some problem, but program is working finally. Hi, hello. Hello, server friend. How are you? And how are you? Some devoted form. I think the code method is not working properly. Import method not working properly at server side. I can server message to message dot input then here i decode the message in message is here to dot decode so let me write the right Okay, let me again. There is some problem in import and decode method, but it's working. Let it be forgotten. Let it be left. Again, how are you? Shows one time error again. Call I am I am running two times. I think it's okay. Yeah, so it should be like for the many multiple shells. Okay, why it is showing here? Because I did not use the curly bracket, uh, sorry, C brackets. That's why it shows the error. Now again, going to run that method. Not showing the error, but showing the encoded form. Let me copy it from here. Now going to run the client program. Here it is. Here is the client program. Run it. Paste the name of host. Successfully connected. Okay, and message. Hello, client. Here is hello, client. Again, I'm fine. What about you? I am also good. Uh, sorry, you can write it here from the server side. I 
I am also. Okay, this is the way of creating the chat client server, client server, chat server. Sorry, this is the way of creating the chat server. Let it be finished for today. Thank you, class. Thank you, students. Take care. Okay, okay, let's go down. Stop sharing. Stop recording.